last week. <laughs> Ikea apologised after making an embarrassing mistake. Ikea is facing criticism after selling a map that had a little something missing. Customers in Washington, D.C. noticed the $30 map of the world forgot to show New Zealand. It's bad timing for Ikea because the company is in the process of opening its first store there. Oops. Yeah, oops indeed. I'm not sure which one is more surprising there, that Ikea forgot New Zealand or that Ikea sells world maps for $30. <laughs> you can buy an entire dining room table at Ikea for $39. So, by that pricing, a world's map should cost negative $40. <laughs> now, incredibly, this is not even the first time this has happened to New Zealand. Their Prime Minister openly complained about it last year. We're not actually on every map that's what? out there. So, Seriously? No, it's actually a real problem. <laughs> We've had a campaign around it. Yep, there are maps where we are missing. No! Mm. Yes! <laughs> It's honestly true. New Zealand gets left off maps all the time. Now, do I think that that is funny? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. New Zealand, a place that's basically Times Square, if all the people were sheep, and if all the neon signs were also sheep, <laughs> keeps getting picked never in the dodgeball game of maps. That is objectively <laughs> funny to me. But this is a surprisingly common occurrence. There's both a subreddit and a Tumblr dedicated to collecting examples of maps without New Zealand on them. For example, it's apparently been left out from this textbook illustration, uh, this box from Tiffany's, and the board game Risk, as well as on large maps in multiple major airports, including Munich, Beijing, and Prague. Which begs the question, where do these airports think flights to New Zealand are going? <laughs> We are now boarding the 855 to Auckland, not sure where or what that is, so from everyone here at Delta Airlines, we wish you a sincere good luck. <laughs> and look, whether you like New Zealand or not, you can't deny it is there. It's not just Australia's imaginary friend. <laughs> and they are trying their best. They did have an official campaign just last year using the hashtag Get New Zealand on the Map. But it clearly didn't work, did it? So tonight, Tonight, we're going to try and help them out by giving people a practical way to put things right here. So, if you go to our Twitter feed right now, you will find a map of New Zealand that you can print out and add to any incorrect map of your choosing. If you own that IKEA map, add New Zealand right there. If, if you have the board game risk, add New Zealand. And then throw it away, because it's a terrible game. <laughs> And, and also, why stop just with inaccurate maps? You can put New Zealand on everything. Map of Florida, add New Zealand. <laughs> An anatomical map of male sexual organs, add New Zealand. In fact, add two. And, and finally, if you, you should ever find yourself in an Ikea, you can help them never forget my favourite heavily logged island nation ever again by finding their in-store store map and going full New Zealand on it. It's the only way they'll learn. And now, this.